This video is about how I installed this Moen Hutchison faucet in the sink behind me and I like it so it's kind of a product endorsement 87048SRS and um, I wanted to say too it's pretty easy to install it has the pictures, um, which may or may not be helpful. It has a snapping, um, where's that, there. It just, you don't have to screw it, you just snap it together, right there. And the one thing I didn't notice on those drawings it included a little tube of uh, Vaseline and so I would say you put it on this when you snap it together put a little titch of Vaseline in there whenever you got an o-ring it's helpful and then I always use these I like these hoses and a little Vaseline too in that when you go to tighten it it allows that to slip a little bit and seat and really these things, you um, you don't have to get them very tight, just tight enough that they don't leak and then a little, about a half a turn more I would say. As opposed to these, which I've had a lot of trouble with these in the past, um, you don't see them really all that much anymore. There's also a, or at least where it's not in the residential, there's also a plastic type of this which is much easier to use than these steel ones but still I, I just feel like you can't hardly lose with these uh, they don't cost that much and I've never seen one fail I imagine it could fail um, this one here is old I, I just bought you know you don't want to use them when they're old um, the, how long they last I'm not really sure so here's the here's the uh, faucet, and um, I had this is a fiberglass sink. I had to drill a hole in it to put this sprayer in, but uh, really no big deal. And then you know the other thing is I had that. Oh, I was going to show you what I had. I shut it off. Okay, so this is the thing I had, which is. You know, this type of thing is popular. Um, this pulls out, but what a nuisance. And this was a good one. This was a good one for a few years because it seats. It'll seat and stay. A lot of them, that you pull them down, they, if they come out like this and then you pull them down and out, they'll, they won't stick back up in there. Um, I'm going to turn this in for the brass. Uh, I don't know if you ever knew, I knew an artist one time that would, uh, they would remelt the brass out of faucets into uh, statues. And, let's see, those, I wanted to show too, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. I like this brush finish. Oh, one more thing. This here, there's an O-ring in here too. So when you screw, you screw this down, it's just pretty easy and then this doesn't have any resistance I like that and I always when I go to look at a house I always look at their sink underneath I got this on a tripod and I can't go down as much as I want to I guess I'll take it off I always look under the sink um, you want two you want two traps and a lot of them don't have, in fact this one didn't, I had to put that in. And um, I run the, a lot of guys don't run the dishwasher through the garbage disposal. But I like to do that because it helps flush out the garbage disposal. And then I've got a feature in, in here too which is uh, hot water in five seconds. Oh I got my under sink filter but so the reason there's kind of more pipes in here 
because it's uh, there's a there's a hot water tank in this other closet and this is um, so I have hot water in five seconds and it comes from the hot water tank and then if I want to shut that off I can change these turn one on uh, I turn this how does that work If I turn this one off, it shuts the whole thing off. If I turn this one on, oh, I turn this one on, and then there's one in here I turn off. And that, so that'll isolate that hot water tank, and then it comes straight from the main tank. But this pipe runs under the slab, so it's hard to get hot water. At best, you have to wait. So with this, Hot water in three seconds. Plus it's hot. Plus it's a little hotter. Ouch. Um, because it's the only faucet. That's the only faucet that has it. So the showers and stuff. I don't. The water isn't so hot. Um, which is a safety thing. Someday I'll give you all the details on that hot water in three seconds. Although you've got the gist of it now. And someday, too, I'll reveal how I insulated. See, this pipe still runs under the slab from the, uh, under the kitchen slab. But the rest of the house runs through the, between the two floors. And it's insulated with inch and a half fiberglass, the hot water pipe. Someday I'll show that in a video.